So how did you find the experience of med school and um, why do you think it's important to have admission schemes like the Māori and Pacific admission scheme? This is a really topical um, subject at the moment. I'm not sure if you've seen, uh, you know, recently there have been um, a, a number of submissions to perhaps change the or cap the number of Māori and Pacific Island students coming through the um, Faculty of Medical and Health Science at the University of Otago. Um, and I uh, would be the first person to say that I think that's absolutely wrong. So my experience, um, you know, growing up uh, and in Rimuera, where I was very much a minority, um, thankfully I didn't actually uh, come across a lot of, you know, bias, you know, conscious bias. Looking back, there's probably lots of unconscious bias there, mm. but um, I hadn't really been exposed to a lot of that kind of thing, even at high school. Um, and university was the first time I sort of was confronted with that, mm. right? So, um, you know, the everybody knows that the admission requirements for Māori and Pacific students uh, is less than the general admission scheme. Um, you know, but when I say less, it's not like you have, you know, it's not like a C compared to an A minus. It's, um, you know, and, and actually it's relevant because once you get into medical school, everybody has to sit the same exams. You know, I've, I've heard people um, be asked about, you know, when you go in through them, what they call the MAPAS scheme, uh, whether or not you get the answers ahead of time before you go to sit an exam, which is total rubbish. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so my experience was of initially um, colleagues and peers in the general admission population who really sort of looked down on us and, and felt that we were kind of, you know, second class and perhaps had friends who had missed out on places at medical mm -hmm. school who, who they thought were deserving. But, um, you know, I think as far as Māori and Pacific Island patients in Aotearoa, we are by far, you know, leading the way as far as health inequity goes. And uh, there's tonnes of research that tells us that uh, you know, Māori and Pacific Island patients do really well when they feel empowered, mm. when they are treated by Māori and Pacific Island, um, you know, by a health workforce that, that reflects them. Yeah. So I see schemes like the MAPAS scheme as the key way of changing that balance. Mm. You know? So Pacifica people make up about 8% of New Zealand's population. Uh, if we were to match the number of doctors with our population, we'd have to increase a number from 295, as of the last Medical Council um, workforce survey, to about 1,100. So, you know, 295 kind of sounds like a lot, but our people have been migrating to this country since, you know, the, as early as the 1950s. So that, I don't think that's many. Well, what percentage of that is do um, of doctors is that? That's it, about three percent. So you know, it's a really small proportion. It totally comes back to what kind of doctors do we want to have in the workforce? We, as Pacifica doctors, have an understanding of what Pacifica patients, um, you know, what what helps them feel empowered to ask questions to. Um, be more informed about their decision making when it comes to their health, realising um, some of the consequences of their health choices. Uh, and, you know, there are, it, it, other people might not think it's a lot, but there's subtle things in the messaging, in the way you present yourself to a patient, in the way you address somebody, um, in your body language that uh, I think our people respond to. Yeah. Um, so I think it would be a real shame if that, changed um, because uh, you know I think we can make a real difference but you know in saying that I think the rest of the health system also needs to take responsibility and so um, you know the Medical Council it's been really nice to see they've come out strongly in terms of um, 
things like cultural safety and uh, you know, really challenging all health professionals, not just Māori and Pacific Island um, doctors, to really examine themselves, their understanding of their own culture, how that applies, you know, being aware of, of um, bias when it comes to treating patients. Um, so, yeah, I'm absolutely 100% supportive of um, admission schemes like MAPAS for health professionals. I think there's a lot more um, that we could talk about on this but we have to go to break so let's do that and then we'll come back and continue our conversation.